Hey everybody, back in the studio again. Today I was thinking about when I first saw Dave Weckl play. He was playing with a great, fantastic pianist named Michelle Camilo. If you don't know who that is, you should check him out. I haven't heard his name in a while, but uh, in the late 80s and the early 90s, he was a cat. So I saw them play at the Blue Note in New York, down in the village. So it was Dave Weckl, Michelle Camilo on piano, and Anthony Jackson on bass. A monster, monstrous trio. And uh, of course, I've heard of, I heard of Dave before I seen him, and uh, but I'm still impressed, still blown away. And later I saw him a few times uh, at a small pub uptown. I think the name of it. It's a small pub, a lot of great cats, musicians were playing it. And I was really impressed at that time because even though it was a small gig, he still had his complete drum set, not only his complete drum set, but his rack. He used to carry around a rack system for the effects and he used to make his own sound for his drums. He wanted to have this perfect sound, consistent sound for each gig. And I was really impressed because it was a local gig, a small pub, maybe hold 70 people at maximum. And he was, you know, insistent on having his sound and bringing his rig and his, his rack system and everything. So, uh, yeah, I have a lot of respect for Dave Buckle because he consistently tries to push the bar. He's changed his sound. He's changed his stick grip. Uh, let me grab a stick here. He used to hold his sticks way in the back of the, the stick like that. But he's since moved it up a little bit. And he's got a different sound. He, he changed his stick gripping and also his technique. And he plays more on the beat or behind the beat nowadays. Well, back then when he played with Michelle Camilo, it was, everything was on top of the beat. <laughs> it was aggressive, you know, aggressive musically speaking. And uh, they were just going for it. They were pushing themselves. And it was fantastic to see and inspirational to see. The first time I actually got to meet him was years later when he was giving a clinic at the Sam Ash Music Center. Sam Ash Music Store, that is, in Jersey. And uh, he was being introduced before he gave his clinic, and I was standing in the back, and he actually, actually was coming from the back. So he was standing in, in, right next to me before he was introduced, so I got to say at least hello to him. But a great musician, and uh, I, I know you know about him, so I don't have to tell you about him, but, you know, he's great. All right, that's my memories of